So I read Excuse Me Professor by Lawrence Reed. He is the current president of the Foundation for Economic Education, a good libertarian leaning like economic, um, like a uh, nonprofit, like education um, type organization. And I know they put out some good stuff. I've written an article there before. This book was a repackaging of 52 articles um, that I don't even think you can find them anymore. So it's still new stuff. It's not like you can just Google each of the essays one by one with the table of contents and get them for free. This was a good book, and I learned quite a bit. Like I've, I talked about, I just did a review on the Revolution by Ron Paul, which was a good introduction to these ideas. But this is a little bit, I don't even know necessarily better. I guess I actually would say better in that um, it does. It's it's fifty two. Like it's not a straight through book. It's you can pick, you can pick and choose what you want. You can just go down the table of contents. If this is something you're interested, in, you can read it. If this is something that you have like, you have read books and books and books on this topic, no need to really read it. I went through each and every one of them. Some I didn't learn that much because they are just simple articles laying out this stuff. But others that I've written articles on some of these topics and done the like done enough research to write an article on it, and I still learned new stuff from the from these articles. There's a lot of good information, a lot of, a lot of good tidbits and um, facts here that some of which like are very common and I've heard a thousand times. Others that like I wish I had this as a resource when writing um, some of my earlier articles and I will definitely use this in the future for, uh, for certain topics. It is a very nice resource guide just to the basic arguments and like enough facts to get by, enough an article's worth of facts for certain um, – for certain topics, mostly like economics, a little bit of history. And the thing I like about these is when it comes to economics and history, like I understand that especially economics, most people find that boring. I get like they're not interested in really reading it. But when it comes to um, how this book presents certain economic arguments and that, I've really appreciated how the libertarians can make the arguments in a way that isn't boring. Like it's very interesting stuff. It takes a more psychological route than it just a pure here are the facts and numbers. Um, that's what I've always found more interesting to me, and I think more interesting to the average person. Um, they make very good cases for it. They present the information that's not just a slew of, here's some dates to memorize, as you might remember it, like history class. But no, overall, very good book, very good um, introductory book. And even if you know this stuff, it's still a good resource to um, to, to just reference for, for anything, really, for any of the topics mentioned in the books, which, again, mostly like economics, history, that sort of stuff. Um, actually, to give you an idea of what it really was, the original, um, most of these essays were originally published in like a, a list of articles called Clichés of Socialism. So that gives you a good idea of what they're really talking about. But um, no, I thought I highly recommend it. It's very good. Um, like the video if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you have read this book and what you thought about it. Subscribe for more. And thanks for watching.